Good afternoon and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Guess what we're making today? I'm going to show you how to make granola cereal. I use this recipe every year we have granola cereal. It is just that good. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read the recipe for you. You're going to need five cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. they want is sesame seeds and we're going to need one cup of them To take just about two bottles of sesame seeds and you go in the urn section. I bought three because I just didn't know. All right, sunflower seeds, they would like one cup. without salt for this dish. Okay. We want one cup of raw wheat germ. I cannot find raw wheat germ, so I'm using toasted. But one cup, nevertheless. non-instant powdered milk. Let me get my powdered milk. And we're going to need one cup soy flour. don't 
know that this flower is, it's got everything in it that your body needs. It's just beautiful. It's like breadfruit. That too as well is a complete food. I, I was shocked when I heard that. I, said, I, I didn't believe it. I said, really? They said, yeah, really. It's a complete food. Sounds call this the jawbreaker. Because you really gotta chew the cereal. But it's so good. stars by it's just that good.
we've got the old spinach, we've got the sesame seeds, we've got the sunflower, we've got the chopped almonds, we've got the powdered milk, we have soy flour, we have raw wheat germ, and we added a small amount of coconut. Now, I am going to add into this batch two tablespoons of flaxseed seeds, if I can get it open. And the reason I'm going to add it, if I can get it open, I'm going to. It might discourage me at this point. I don't know why it doesn't want to open. I've opened it a hundred times. omega-3 fatty acids, which the human body needs. So, I am going to throw in a couple of tablespoons. You don't have to, but the body does need it. So, you know, I'm always thinking nutrition, so I'm going to go in that direction. Now I better use a spoon now. Very little that I'm adding, but I, I want to make sure that we get them. Okay, we're going to need a measuring cup. A quart size will be just fine for what we're going to do next. Into this measuring cup, they want you to add one cup of a vegetable oil. I don't want to use my all blend because it's going to give too much flavor to this. So I'm using corn oil and I'm going to add a whole cup. And to that oil, we're going to add one cup of honey which will probably take 20 years to come out. this upside down and put it with the other honey. Mix them together. To that, we are now going to add one cup of cold water. We're going to mix 
this together. It's got to be thoroughly mixed together because you're going to put a well in the dry ingredients and then put it in here. have this thoroughly mixed so you make sure it's thoroughly mixed. I am going to use two 9 by 13s because I don't have a, uh, a pan big enough to spread this all out on. I'm not going to make a half a batch. If I make a half a batch, everybody's going to complain in the house. So I'll make the full batch and just cook two batches. go get my pots. Okay, I got my pans out. What you're going to do is divide, the, well I'm dividing it unless you have a really big cookie sheet to take all of this. I am going to divide this in half. it out. Like I said, if you have a big pan you can, uh, that can cover this, you're fine. I don't, so I have to do it this way. But what you're going to do is you're going to put, I'm putting one of them in. Okay, because I can only do one at a time. What you're going to do is it's going to bake about an hour. But what you do is you put it in the oven and every 15 minutes you get a spoon and you stir it around because you have to dry it out. And that's what you're doing. So you turn it around and around until it's dry. They say it takes about an hour, maybe a little more. You don't want it burnt. You just want it cooked. So every 15 minutes, you turn it over and you just keep on checking it and checking it and checking it until it's done. And then you put it in a bowl, if you divide it enough the way I have, and you do the other half of the batch. Uh, but when, when that's done, in about an hour, you'll see me, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, and I am going to go take care of it.
15 minutes. Okay, it's time to check it again and stir it. Make sure that you turn it over because you don't want to sit there and just leave it on the bottom to burn. This is why you keep rotating it. Go and check it again. Okay, it's another 30 minutes and then we're going to stir it again. And you'll see that it's getting more brown as you do it. More of a toasty look about it. Okay, we're going to check it now. supposed to look. You see how toasty it is? Now we're going to put the second batch on and I'll show you what it looks like before it goes in. You'll see the big difference. You see? So we're going to put this batch on and what you're going to do with your, your batch is you're going to let it cool. You're not going to touch it. You're just going to put it out so it can cool. And uh, after it cools, we'll move to the final stages of it. Okay, the second batch is done. This one needed a little longer because it had more in it. So I can't do it anymore because I'll end up burning it and I don't want to burn it. I'm going to put it with the other one. It's already done and cooled. This one. This has raw pickles, so I'll clean it up. You have big pieces, they'll break up. Don't worry about it as you do it. Next, we're going to add a whole cup of raisins, dark raisins, not the golden ones, but the dark ones. When you do raisins, you pack them in. Don't leave them light. Store this cereal 
until it's completely, I mean completely cool. You just mix the raisins in and that's it, you know. But do cool it completely and when you put it in a container, make sure it's an airtight container. And I doubt you'll have the cereal very long. Especially if you have children. And you make a big bowl. This is how you make granola cereal. And I hope you try it. It's very good. And uh, listen, if you, uh, wait a minute, what am I thinking? I'm losing it. I was going to wish you a good evening because the day is coming close to ending. So bye-bye.